when you're at home, if you have access to something like a stir crazy popcorn maker where you can make popcorn with a tiny bit of oil or an air popper, that can work to your advantage. Especially if you can use olive oil, canola oil, soybean, any of those oils that have more poly and mono and saturated fats. Also keep in mind, if you have a tendency to put a lot of butter on your popcorn, it might make a difference how you should make your popcorn. If you have an air popper, then you can maybe have room in there for some butter. But if you're having stir crazy popcorn, maybe you wanna use less butter add-ons or utilize substitutes such as Butter Buds, Molly McButter, and other flavorings that we have available to us. Think about what you're doing with your salt shaker or your seasoning on your popcorn and do pay attention to that on the label with your popcorn. A lot of times they may be say low in fat when they're actually really boosting up the salt. No matter what you choose, keep paying attention to issues such as the types of fats that are in the labels of the foods that you're eating.